There's no way I drove about two hours away just for the car to look like this. One, two, three. What's up boys? How you guys doing? Today we have a long day ahead of us. We may potentially buy another project car, but I'm still kind of thinking about if I want to build this project or go ahead and just flip the car. I really want to tell you guys what the car is, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you when I get there. We have about an hour and 40 minute drive from here, so it is pretty far and I am driving the sleeper build. So full E85, you know, 400 horsepower, we're about to drive it pretty far, so let's see how it goes. I also forgot to mention that my E85 gauge actually stopped working, but I actually calculated how much miles I get to the gallon. So the plan is we're gonna hit about 180. Once I see 180 right there, I'm gonna go to the E85 station. I love how my car is running so cold. I have an upgraded cooling system such as the Mishima thermostat. I believe it was a Skunk 2 radiator? Yep. Yeah, Skunk 2 radiator and then the Mishimoto fans, but it was well worth the investment. So guys, we're about an hour and 35 minutes away. 80 more miles to go. So hopefully we make it on the full E85. I mean, we're taking a gamble right now, but I'm very confident we'll make it. But as soon as we get there, we have to fill up. And on top of that, I am having the AC on this whole trip. cool little race with the mustang gt but that guy was just surprised he didn't want to go again because he was like what the hell he was really confused <laughs> he was confused i have a paper plate like i just bought the car and obviously like stock wheels stock suspension the car looks stock and i pulled on him the and i was is, the car is just stuck yeah and i basically <laughs> like i was spinning the whole time in second gear and i was pulling hella hard so guys we have about 18 more miles we are pretty damn far from home but so far we have about 122 miles i'm a little nervous because i don't know how much gas i have but we're just gonna gamble this and make it the whole way there let me tell you guys something we were gonna buy this car but this car is junk oh my god there's no way I drove about two hours away just for the car to look like this. The paint job is literally terrible. There's dirt everywhere, overspray everywhere, it's fading, and it's like red. I guess the original paint color is red, and they painted it black. But she wants $5,000 for it, and I thought the paint wasn't too bad, but in person, it's literally so bad, guys. As soon as we pulled up, my brother was like, bruh, ain't no way it looks like this. I know my brother's mad as hell because he's like, bruh, you really forcing me to drive the car right now? I just gave my brother the eye like, yo, there's no way I'm gonna pay five grand for this. I'll pay like $2,000, $2,000 for this car. Not two five, nothing like that. This car is literally not worth it. So I opened the door, right? And she has like a seat cover on the driver's seat. And the reason why she put a seat cover is because there was white paint on the seats. I took a step back. I'm looking at the whole car. There's literally like dirt everywhere. Like they painted over the dirt. So bad everywhere. It's so funny because I told my brother to drive the car. He knew damn well I didn't even want this car. I mean, it is what it is, guys. The car also has been on non-op for like two years. So they're going to offer like 2000 2500 Literally half of what she's asking for. Because if I get the engine and transmission, that basically pays for itself. I could probably put in my black Honda and get it running again. And then I could keep that shell and probably junk that shit because that thing is terrible. Let me show you guys at least the original ad. 2006 Honda Civic Si, $5,000. It looks really good in pictures. Looks really good. Looks all right. But I mean, that's it. So, bro, what do you think about that car? People I thought it was gonna be the one over there, bro. <laughs> yeah, there's the one right there, guys. As you can see, if we can zoom in, 
I was really discouraged with the body, man. Uh, but I'm the not body, gonna pay 5K. I don't know what the hell they did. We, but look at we this thought one. it was this one, man. I'm like, oh hell yeah, you got white wheels now. But this is the base model automatic, base model, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool though. All right, guys, we just found a Lamborghini Urus with exhaust. Oh, he does. That. Oh, 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 what the fuck? What's going on? What the hell? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> they made us lose the oh, freaking opportunity, we just man! Lost the opportunity. What the road rage, man? They just want to go, bro. <laughs> People with money, they don't know how to race. They just go. Okay, okay. I'm signing up again. This time I'm ready. I'm going to put it in third gear. I'm going to make sure I do it. Tell him to go to slow down. Slow down. about that life guys we got 13 miles to the next e85 station we're currently at 151 miles i mean we did a couple pulls but hopefully we can make it we're looking for the e85 oh it's right there i've been looking for you <laughs> yeah let's see how much it fills up about to go inside real quick because we're starving i do not know what i want to eat real quick i just need a snack for now Moment of truth, boys. Oh, wow. Hey, it actually did pretty good. I only needed eight gallons. Well, basically nine gallon. That's not too bad. So if I am correct, I still had about four gallons left before I needed to fill up, but now we have a full tank. So let's head back home. So the quick snack that I got was beef jerky, some almonds, and my brother got, I don't know, some muffins. This dude's crazy. So before we head out, I want to go ahead and clear this. I need to track my damn mileage. Approximately 10 hours later. I kind of wish that I filmed some more of the car, but I just wanted to be very respectful because I didn't want to like bust out my GoPro and just start filming everything. So I was kind of being low key about it, but that's all I could show you. If I would have showed you the rest of the car up close, it was so bad. I'm about to hit some back roads, make me feel a little bit better. I love this car so much. Man, these tires just spin. I need some better tires. And just know I appreciate everyone who subscribed and likes and comments. And I actually take the time to look over the comments and it just makes my day so i appreciate it guys